What is going on YouTube? Welcome back today to a brand new video of all of you are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be finishing off um, based off from like our last video when I was going to plan to open two of the Stellar Crown ETBs. I only opened one because the video was long. So this is the other one of these that we had. And I'm finishing off opening up Shrouded Fable because this is the last bit of product I had that was opening for a video. One booster bundle and then two, three packs. I don't ever want to touch this set ever again. It's not that good in my opinion. I got my Cresselia in the last video, which was, was it last video? I think it was. And also last video I titled wrong. I, I called it like a new Pokemon opening, which is technically true. I wanted to call it, I've never gone from such a high to such a low, but it happens. But we're gonna start with the Shroud of Fable because we want to end on the Stellar Crown. Cause that stuff will probably be opening a deep, we'll open it from time to time. Obviously we're still gonna be opening up a bunch of 151, Try that masquerade. New products that come out. That'd be great. The only other time I might open Shroud of Fable is if I get any more of those special illustration rare boxes, like the Kingdra's and the Um The Greninja's. Because I haven't done a Greninja yet. They haven't done that opening on the channel yet. So I've never found I haven't found one. They haven't restocked with them. I also got to give you these. Got coke code number one. The code number two. Card cards. Just put the trash there. Right, box. Yeah, here. you'll be next. Six packs. Let's see if we can get anything. Obviously, we'll be hunt we're hunting for that Earthen Vessel Gold card or the Pheasant Dippity SAR. There we go. A little bit better. Go back, got Persian, got Decidua, got Slitherwing, Exodus Machinist, Varum, we got Golbat, and Tapu Bulu. Go card. Let's see, it's been a decent amount since I filmed the video. Oh. Oh. Look at that. That got like. That's like fully, that's like fully cut through. Did the other pack have that? Should be right up here, so no, it didn't. It seems to have like a slight indent. Maybe there was a slight cut. Do any other packs have that? It's only this pack. And also, look, I can't even physically like straighten out the cards. I'm like, I'm pressing down and I can't. Let's see. Oh, oh no, that's, that's on the rares too, because they put the rares in the back. Pokemon, bring back the four card trick. This is why we need it. Oh, these are, these are all ruined. Oh God. Okay, I guess let's just get this, see this one gone first. Uh oh, look away. If you're going to be hurt by this, look away. What's our rare? Cause this is like completely damaged. Another Tapu Bulu. This is why this set sucks. No one cares about the Tapus. Tapu Coco is the only good one. Okay, let's just let's just go through. Don't be anything. Don't be a hit. Don't be a hit. Don't be a hit. Fur fro. Okay, thank God. Can you can you notice them even like on the? You can notice them like completely too. It's like fully jagged. That's so weird. I've never opened a pack that was like that. Okay, well, another reason why I try to fable that might happen to your pack. I'm so glad it's only one pack because then this would just be a full waste of money. I mean, try to fable to hurt your waste of money. Don't don't buy try to fable. You want to take anything I recommend from a video and use it in real life? Oh, let's go. Okay, this is the only reason that try to fable still is a decent set in my mind because it has. These. But sadly, it's not the one I need. I do love the Dust Noir. He's, he's the GO. He's, he's one of the go, Ghost types. Love the Ghost types. Also, using the new sleeves, I said in the last video I would be because they changed how they are now. So it's a lot easier to do this now. Let's 
I don't know if you can hear that. Kind of like a rubbery texture, whereas the other ones were just smooth, so it would kind of be harder to do that if your like, fingers were dry. But this, it's a lot easier to do it. But the dust mill are rare. Have pulled it already. I think it's my second time on video pulling it. But it is still a very nice card, and one of the top hits. One of like, the, still the top art rare hits in the set. But I'm trying to complete the art rares for most sets, and I need my good old pal Dust Coal. I've pulled the Dust Clops, pulled the Dust Noir, I just need the Dust Clops. Krogunk, Copper Asher, and a Fighting Energy Hollow. Boom. All right, well, at least that's the solid card. Actually, we just went from a three pack that had a pack that was full of nothing but broken cards. I don't even know how the code cards like got glued down. That confuses me. Like, how does that happen? Furfro, Zoroark, Cresselia. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't open Shadow Fable. Because, as you can see, we have pulled only a single card. Horsey, we got five final pack, we got Dust Gloss, we got Beware, we got Sneasel, Chorus, we got Evolto, Hypno, Academy at Night, No Art Rare, but a Peach Rat Full Art. Kind of for the Pheasant Dippity, it'd be a little bit better, like for value wise, but still take it. Literally, the only people I'd say who want to open, if you want to open the set, only open the set if like you're a fan of like the new Gen 9 Legendaries. Or mythics, mythicals, I don't know how, what they classify these as, I don't really care. Um, ow. That opened a little bit. Rough, I feel like. But that. But yeah, only open the set if you are a fan of the Gen 9 Legendaries, because there's nothing else in the set really worth chasing. The art rares, just, just buy them. Yes, they're a little bit pricey, like 20 bucks. I think the version might be like 25. Like the whole Dusk Gold line, you'd probably pay like... 50, 60 if you're doing online, so shipping and taxes. If you go to a car shop, they probably make your deal, maybe like 50 for the whole set. If you throw in the, throw in the, what's it called, the Persian, maybe 75, 70. Just buy those art rares. Cresselia is like 15 if you like Cresselia, so just throw that in there too, like a total of 90, 85 ish. Don't, don't buy this set. Even the SARs you can buy for cheap. Literally all the top cards you can buy for cheaper than buying an ETB at a retail store. Now, if you go to a card shop, they're probably cheaper because card shops usually adjust their prices based off what the market's going off, like cheap player and stuff. Love the sign moth. Um, so like an ETB is worth like 35 online. Oh, we got Exodus Machinist. Four. Very nice. If something's going for like, like 35 online, maybe a card shop might charge you 40. And it might be in retail, like 55. Why? Because retails can't change their prices. All they can do is put it on sale after a specific amount of time. So, for sets to recommend, like, if you, if you, like, for my recommendation, I do a lot of Pokemon card buying, so I always try and find the better deal. If you want sets to open for value in modern day sets that you can probably find at, like, stores. Definitely Twilight Masquerade would be one of them. Hey! Let's go. All right, rare. So I gotta take a quick break to acknowledge that we got a pull. This is the only Monkey Doy card in the set that I approve of. Why? Because it... We could erase the monkey. And this is in a full 10 out of 10 beauty. It's a 9 out of 10 because the monkey's there. Sorry, Monkey Doy. I don't like you. That is... That is beautiful. Are those lines on the sleeve or on the card? Okay, so let me put the card back in. Those lines right there, you can see the white lines right there. Those are on the sleeve, not on the card. But this artwork is beautiful. Love it. Love the flowers. But like I was saying, if you wanted my if you wanted my recommendation for packs to buy, if you're trying to look for value, like based on like what you're opening, I say Twilight Mask would be one of them. There's a lot of SARs and art rares that are decently valuable. And plus, the top chase card is decently valuable at $300. This set, I would tell you to avoid like the plague. Avoid it. Never come near it. 
even if you pull the top card, it's like it's like 80 bucks. Every other set, except for like Scarlet Violet Base, has a better chase card. Um, what's another good set? Obviously, 151. If you want a set to invest in, 151 is your go to if you can find it at a Walmart. Because ETBs are already worth more online than I think of what a Walmart would sell them for. Or like a Target or any or any retail store. The Rubber Room EX4 line, aka the worst. Rubber Room gets no love. It's a. I mean. It does play a decent role in the game. You battle a giant car. It's literally a giant rev room that you can't catch ever because it's a custom made one for the boss. But like still. So out of six packs from the three packs, we got a Dust Noir and a Peach Run Full Art. So far from six packs out of these, we've gotten an Art Rare also and a Full Art Pokemon, but also a Full Art Trainer. Let's see what else we get. So far, this is probably decent. I've done. This is a decent run on, on Shredder Fable. Nothing in there, and nothing in that. Uh, we got so many Copperages. I think we got like four packs that were Copperages. But that was twelve packs, as you can see. You can't expect too much from this set. But we still got some decent bangers. Got the Monkey Dory and the Dust Noir. The X's machine is full art. We got nothing. We got no basic EX for once, which is surprising. But still top hits the dust more. So he'll stay right there. But to end off, got nine packs of Stellar Crown. This is a short video. I got a lot of stuff to do today. So I thought I'd just squeeze in a video real quick. Post it within a couple days. Sorry if the posting schedule is getting weird. I've been, I've been doing a lot in school. And today is my school work day. Got to do four hours of homework. And reading, yay. Knock Tower promo. I can't take it out of the pack. I, I like keeping these sealed, so. Sleeves, keep those, because those will be useful for other, for other future videos. You know what, screw it. I'll get you guys a code card. So now I'm gonna open probably a couple of these off camera, just myself, just to keep trying to do my old hunts. Solar Crown, ETB, baby. Yeet. No scratch marks on the back. Surprisingly. And that's why they put the code card there, so that you don't scratch it. But very nice knock towel. Very, very nice. And the dividers that no one none. No one wants. The Terrapagos, obviously that's what we're hunting for. I want to pull the Terrapagos, the Galvantula, and the Hydroapple SARs. As far as rares, Bulbasaur Squirtle. Those are my chases. Let's see if we can get one. Got nine packs, I think. Nine. See what we can do. Got Riolu. Got Padiapa Berry. Got Reshiram. Swallet. Mo Rotom. Clang. And Rhyperior. It would have been so nice if they made these energies in this set um, hollow. Because to see a shatter hollow would be cool. But back to like what I was saying about Pokemon cards to buy. Um, sets to buy, definitely 151. Twilight Masquerade's been going up, so I'd say stick with that set too. Because that Greninja's been holding... That Greninja's holding strong. And also there's a lot of other decent cards. Just like decently like $50, $80 cards. Um, Stellar Crown... Probably a no-go for Stellar Crown. Slow King, okay, my boy. Luminion. Raging Bolt. Just because right now the top card's barely staying at $100. So this is probably going to be like another... What card set would I compare this to to be? Where it started off just like a basic 100 and like it stays there. Probably Temporal Forces. The max card never got above 100. And now the max card value like card. I think it's like under 90. But it still has some nice artworks and stuff, so. Hmm. Duraludon, Grim Smile. That's three packs in with nothing. Yikes. I don't know if I got that clearly. There we go. Sorry if my voice is not really. Sounds slightly scratchy. I just woke up. Have not drank anything, which is probably bad. I probably should have drank something before I started because I'm talking for like consistent amount of time. 
So it's probably doing a number on my voice. I'm gonna drink something in a moment. I'm done with this. Got toe scroll, first hit maybe. Not out of that slot, but out of this slot, we got the Hydrapple. Hunting for your SAR. Also, in the new set, like I, know, like I said before, they're making Alicia. We will be doing many videos hunting for that card. And once I can find more 151, I'll be doing more videos hunting for a God Pack. A Demi God Pack, actually. Well, technically, because it's only it's not the full thing. It's only a Demi. But we are hunting for, we'll hunt for the Demi God Pack. Doesn't matter if we pull every SAR before we had to get a, hit a Demi God Pack. We are not stopping until we pull a Demi God Pack. Right on, Toad's Cruel, Gravity Gemstone, got Deluxe Bomb, Ace Spec, Meltan, and Archladon. So far, not nothing too crazy. It's the only set we've opened where we got a. Again, we opened, um, what's it called? We opened all the Stellar Crown. I mean, all of Shadow Fable. We got, didn't get a single basic EX. We only got betters, better pulls. We are four packs in with only two hits. I remember opening opening day pulling a decent amount better. Except on opening day when I bought a Twilight Masquerade booster box, my brother got a Stellar Crown booster box. And neither one of us pulled an SAR or gold. We only got the basic cards. Oh, there you go. Galvantula Terra. First time I've pulled this one. With the rainbow foiling around the ends. I really want Pokemon to bring back just rainbows. Because these remind me of like crystals. From like Aquapolis. Aquapolis and uh, Skybridge. Two of Pokemon's best E series sets. Two of the best E series sets. Expedition doesn't compare. It's good, but not as good as those two. Grubbin, Varum. But that guy eventually is nice, but we wanted to see the SAR one. I am Boulder. I am Boulder as a psychic type? I thought it was a fighting type. I am pretty sure in Temple Forces they made him a fighting type. Last two packs, we got Cinderace and Lapras. Let's see if we can end with one more. Oh my god, Paul. Because for once it seems like Shroud of Fable is actually doing better. Bonita, Lapras. Mian Shao, Salazzle, Rhydon, Panseer, and Noctowl. Well, last pack. So far out of eight packs, we've gotten three hits. That is less than 50%. This boost about this used to be gonna be less than 50% hit ratios. Whereas out of 12 packs of Temporal Forces, we got Five. That's almost. That is almost fifty percent. So let's see. That'd be. So if you divide in half, six. Two point five out of six. Divide that in half. It's one point seventy five out of three. So that's a little bit higher than thirty three percent. Tornadus. Morgram and a hollow. Cling clang. So the Twilight Mask. Or the. Why do you, I keep thinking of Twilight Mask? Great. The Shrouded Fable actually had better pull-up ratios than Stellar Crown did. That was a lackluster of an ETB. Maybe this set might not be as good a ports as some people are thinking. Mm. Well, that will do for today's video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll try and keep posting as frequently as I can. I still have a, I have a lot of stuff still to open. Next video is going to be focused on one main set. And it's not Garden Violet. So, stay tuned for that one. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.